Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Magnius and welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. So, we're already out in space as usual because launching today took me like two hours. Isn't that right, Mr. Swiggles? Yes, it is. Yeah, so it took me like two hours to get where I wanted to be. It was, it was a long story. I wanted to be fuel efficient. But anyway, guess where we are, ladies and gentlemen? That's right. I pointed my ship towards my target icon because I couldn't find it anywhere. Even though it should have been relatively close. And if you follow where my ship is pointing with our little our probe, which we're going to rename from Odyssey to something else. Just follow this little line. What is that star right there? That is not a star. It is slightly green. That's right. That's right, my friends. We're going to Jewel. <laughs> it, it took me forever to get this intercept. And that intercept is actually really, really, really close to Jewel. I'm sort of surprised they didn't hit any of the moons on the way in. But we're going to go ahead and just jump into the Sphere of Influence. And we're going to put a probe around Jewel. Hopefully it doesn't like run into any of the moons or anything like that. But uh, we'll, we'll deal with that if necessary. Maybe. I don't know. Um... Why why is the speed not uh, increasing? Should be a little bit little bit faster than that, don't you think? I think so. Time warp, please. Time warp hello. There we go. And boop. Whoa. <laughs> All right then. Well, that that's definitely all right that's good Need to get in a little bit closer here can how many of these moons can we see wow you can see the little stars that are moving those are not stars those are moons we're totally gonna go check them out lathe bop pole i believe there are a few others val anyway let's go on ahead and this is going to take a while, actually, to fall in. Whee! And... Slow down here. I want to get a good look at where we're going. I want to see... Where's Jewel? There it is. Nice. Can we see any of the moons yet? Do you see any twinkling? Ah, there's one. I saw something. A pixel. A single pixel. <laughs> oh, fun times. Alright, let's go ahead and get a little bit closer. Oh, hello, moons. There they are. And yes, guys, I am aware that the period and the comma keys change time acceleration. I just really enjoy being able to immediately drop down to the regular time as opposed to going up and down using the the comma and period keys but since it seems to bother you guys i'll totally go ahead and do this for you okay all right so i think yeah let's let's make an orbit inside of lathe we want to make an equatorial orbit? I say we should, because equatorial orbits are fun. How can we... No, I don't want to set Val as the target. I want to add a maneuver. How do I... How do I change this? Uh, that's that's going to be really expensive. Let's Let's not worry about that for now. Let's worry about getting into a stable orbit first. And then we'll do that. So let's go ahead and add a maneuver here. Retrograde, just so we know where it is. All right. And where is it, actually? Alt, period, to give us a little bit more turning power as we continue. There it is. All right, stop, stop, stop. No, come back. So, Jewel, Jewel. A couple of things to say about Jewel. Jewel is the green gas giant on the outer edges of the Kerbal Solar System. It is currently our only gas giant, although it will not be the last. There should be one or two more others. I think two others. 
that are going to be added to the Kerbal solar system. But for the moment, Joule is our only one. It has five? Five moons, I believe? It has the most moons of anything. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So we have Lathe here in the center. Then we have Val, Tylo, Bop, and Pol. Very nice. And it has the most moons, just like the, the gas giants in our real solar system. Although, Joule has nowhere near the 63 moon. I can't, I can't remember how many, but obviously it's based off Jupiter. And so, I mean, look at this. It even has bands. Of course, like, I think, I think Uranus or maybe Neptune also has bands. Very, very light bands. Not quite as easy to see as Jupiter's. But yes, it has bands. I think it's safe to assume it's based on Jupiter. And it doesn't have that many moons, but it does have a lot. And we're going to be having a fun time trying to land on all of these things. I think I'm going to land with probes first this time, because it's much easier to get probes all the way out here. Which means we're going to be worrying about electric charge a lot. Let's go ahead and get close to this so that we can actually see what we're doing. This shouldn't take much to finish this orbit, because this orbit is already pretty close to being done as it is. Capture! And... There we go. That's close enough. Retrograde burn! Let's not worry about this thing, because it's annoying. Oop! Alright. And we need to slow down. I don't know how much we need to slow down. Lots of people, when they come through this system, what they do is they arrow break around Jewel. And although I would love to do that, I have no idea how to do that. I've never done that before. So, yes. Hello, Jewel, you beautiful planet. So instead of arrow breaking, we're just going to uh, do this the old fashioned way. Yeah, it'll work fine anyway. We have plenty of fuel, and by plenty I mean we have a lot of fuel. We only have one nuclear engine. It'll be it'll be more than okay. I bet we could even go and visit Lave. Probably also Val. But uh, we're just going to stay in Joule orbit for this episode. Leave this here as sort of a communication satellite. What should we name this actually? We'll name it after we get into the orbit. I wonder if we're going to hit one of these moons, actually, as we finish this. That would be an interesting little side effect. Blah. Eh, I'm cool with that there for now. Alright. Maybe we can use that to make it equatorial later. So the thing about gas giants, as you probably can guess and know, they do not have solid surfaces. They are indeed gas giants. I'm sure somewhere down there near the core there's some sort of rocky or something. Not, not surface per se, but some sort of core, because of course asteroids and various other comets and things like that fall into gas giants all the time. The Shoemaker asteroids? Is that what they were? I believe so. So Shoemaker... Those were quite amazing asteroids that fell into Jupiter and left little holes, scars on Jupiter's surface for quite a while. So obviously things fall in there. And obviously that rock doesn't just disappear and turn into hydrogen. But it's, it's definitely not going to be rocky anywhere near where we can go before we get crushed due to the pressure. So unfortunately we're not going to be landing on any gas giants anytime soon. But that doesn't mean that we can't have some sort of atmospheric station. I would be cool with that. Orbiting colonies would also be very cool around Jupiter. Think, ah, oh, think of the view. What should we name this vessel? I'm just gonna call it Julius for now, because I have no idea what to name it. All right. So what? What should we do? I don't, I don't want to leave this here for now, because that, that looks pretty terrible. So let's go ahead and make this come around and continue to lower our orbit there, because I don't want that there.
Indeed, we'll send a few more probes out here, get some probes around these moons, check them out, and hopefully, hopefully we're going to get new rover parts soon. They say that they're going to be releasing the individual parts of point nineteen, some parts earlier than others, and really the main thing I want is rover parts, so I'm really hoping that rover parts are one of those earlier pieces that comes out, one of the earlier updates, so that we can make rovers, because I, I totally want to go and use rovers on like Val, Tylo, Lave. We're gonna look at these actually for a little bit once this gets in all the way, but I bet we can look at Lave as it is. Lave is probably everyone's favorite moon because as you can tell, this moon is covered in oceans. Liquid oceans, water oceans I believe in fact. They're like little islands and stuff in there, but for the most part, it's very Kerbin like It has an atmosphere made of oxygen, so you can fly space planes on it. Totally cool. Val, we can zoom in here and get a little look. Val is an ice moon. There's some, like, strange stuff on Val. But we're not going to talk about that yet. We'll save that for another episode, but just things that I've read about. And where's Tylo? There's Tylo. So everyone, everyone says never to try to land on Tylo. It has no atmosphere, so you can't use parachutes. Unlike on a uh, lathe that does have an atmosphere. And it is pretty huge. I think it has approximately the gravity of Kerbin, maybe? So people can't really get to Tylo and back very, very easily. But I'm not going to worry about that. Why, why is this taking so long? Speed up time. Yeah, we can go ahead and lower that too, I don't mind. We have plenty of fuel, plenty of fuel. What is this? 5.4... It's nowhere near yet. Yeah, and I'm okay with having a polar orbit for this too, actually, because I never actually want my probe to go into the dark side behind Jewel. That... That would not be good at all. I <laughs> I don't want our probe to go dead, although I'm pretty sure the stuff that is on our probe at the moment would keep it alive quite well, assuming that it doesn't go completely into darkness and actually need to do anything. Uh, nuclear engines. Ha 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 ha. Oh, this, this is hard to control. Alright. Oh. Alright, so that's, that's taking forever. We're gonna zoom around to the other side again. Neat little polar orbit here. Hmm. Alright, so for you guys who actually watch my Kerbal Space Program series, because you guys are totally awesome in supporting this series, I want you to tell me which moon you want me to go to first for our next episode. Which moon you want me to put an orbiter around. Which moon you want us to prepare for some sort of landing. Because depending on the moon that you want to go to, we're going to have to prepare differently. Bop and, and Pole are definitely very different from Lathe and Val. Probably not going to land on Tylo, but <laughs> we can definitely go in orbit around Tylo. If we do land something on Tylo, like everywhere else, it's not coming back. And I realize that it's very strange that we've never actually brought anyone back to Kerbin before. That's, that's going to be our goal after we finish landing on everything, because personally, exploring is fun for me, and I think the one-way trips are something that humans need to get used to in terms of space travel. For example, with the Mars colony, I feel pretty strongly that our first people sent to Mars should probably stay there for the rest of their lives, working on setting up a colony for future people to come and live on for the rest of their lives. Until we get some sort of awesome Mars economy going where we can send people back to Earth with things built on Mars, I don't really think that there's any other way to do that that makes sense. So, eh. That's just me. So, in my Kerbal missions, I imitate what I think a real mission should be like going out to the outer solar system with manned flights, or the inner solar system for that matter, and I, I try my best 
to not think about all of the Wilman Kermans I've sent to their doom. Because, trust me, there, there are a lot of them. Speed up time, because this is taking forever. Do, 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 do. So yeah, maybe maybe we should go to Lathe first. Lathe is an awesome ocean moon. It has oxygen, so we could even leave our Kerbals there and not feel... Well, it, it may not have life on it, I guess, so maybe, maybe I should sort of feel terrible about that. But... And that's that's close enough for me for now. So let's go ahead and look at this planet. The only problem with this is that indeed, what just happened? There we go. There's the sunny side. Well, we got a little bit of the sunny side before heading back over, but oh, what in the world is going on with this camera? Either way, I think that it is time for us to decouple, send our satellite out into... Yeah, I think we're going to have enough. It'll, it'll be no problem. Decouple! Let's go ahead and extend the panels. I should really put these on action groups. And Communitron. So many solar panels. <laughs> there we go. No, wait, 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 wait. Come back, come back. Uh, why are you so hard to control? All right, so I'm I'm essentially, yeah, I'm I'm done with that. Let's let's finish that and get over here to the somewhat sunny side. Nice. All right, and yeah. All right, there we go. That doesn't really look that great, but sure, why not? Screenshot. All right, and that concludes our episode here. Come back next time, and don't forget to tell me in the comments below which one of these moons you want us to go to next. Lathe, or Val, Tylo, Bop, or Pole. So thank you very much for watching. My name is Magnius, and I will see you next time.